what are somatic sensations and what are visceral sensations somatic sensations are the sensations elicited from skin subcutaneous tissue muscles joints ligaments and tendons Visceral sensations are the sensations elicited from viscera or deep part of the body. Can you give me some examples for somatic sensations? Tactile sensations, thermal sensations, pain, proprioceptive sensations. What is the difference between general senses and special senses? General senses include senses that are not specific such as somatic sensations and visceral sensations. Special senses include smell, taste, vision, hearing and equilibrium. The receptors of general senses are scattered throughout the body and they have simple structures while the receptors of special senses are concentrated in a special, specific locations in the head, they are anatomically distinct structures and they have complex neural pathways. What cranial nerve damage can cause anosmia? Olfactory nerve. What are the causes for bilateral anosmia? Cold, allergic rhinitis, damaged olfactory epithelium. Why unilateral lesions of cortex doesn't cause anosmia? Because fibers from each olfactory tract travel to both cerebral hemispheres, so there is a bilateral connection. What will happen when there is a lesion in left abducted nerve? Diplopia when looking left, internal strabismus of left eye and diplopia when looking straight. Why internal strabismus? As lateral rectus muscle is paralyzed, unopposed action of medial rectus pull the eyeball medially when looking straight. If there's also a weakness of muscles or facial expressions on left side of this patient, what is the level of brain stem that has been injured? Caudal part of the pons at the level of facial colliculum. What is the difference between upper and lower motor neuron lesions of facial nerve? All muscles of affected side of the face will be paralyzed in lower motor neuron lesion, but in upper motor neuron lesion, only the muscles of lower part of the face will be paralyzed on opposite side. Why opposite side? Because the part of facial motor nucleus that controls the muscle of lower part of the face receive corticonuclear fibers only from opposite side of cerebral hemisphere. So when there's a lesion in corticonuclear fibers on one side, the opposite side muscles get paralyzed. Why upper parts are not affected? The part of the facial motor nucleus that controls the muscles of the upper part of the face receives corticonuclear fibers from both nucleus. So when corticonuclear fibers of one side is damaged, it doesn't affect much for the muscles of upper side because the nucleus also receives corticonuclear fibers from other side. I hope you know that signs and symptoms of facial nerve palsy change according to the level of lesion. Can you tell me a few of them? When there is a damage below stylomastoid foramen, muscles of facial expressions will be paralyzed. Higher up, when there is a damage below the geniculate ganglion, not only that, but also taste sensation of anterior two-thirds of the tongue, salivation, and stapedial reflex are also lost. When it is damaged in the internal auditory meatus, there's a loss of lacrimation too. How are you going to check facial nerve? What are the muscles you are going to test? First, going to look for the symmetry in the face, then asking patient to close his eyes tightly and try to open them by applying pressure. This checks orbicularis oculi. 
obicularis oris can be checked by asking him to show his teeth and looking for any deviations of angles of mouth. Buccinator is checked by asking to blow out the cheek with mouth closed. Frontalis muscle can be checked by asking him to wrinkle his forehead and raise the eyebrow. What is the other cranial nerve nucleus which has a part receive corticonuclear fibers only from opposite cerebral hemisphere? Hypoglossal nerve, 